See, I'm here just because I genuinely love the brand. Yeah. You know, and you're a Volkswagen. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not like I'm not overboard Volkswagen where I don't see quality in other brands. It's just for me, their values as a brand line up with what I like. Do you own a Volkswagen? I've had 16. Huh? I've had 16. <laughs> what? You had 16 yeah. Volkswagen? <laughs> what? Just name a couple. Huh? So I had. Whew, okay. Starting from the beginning, 91 Vanagon, 91 Jetta, uh, I had a 93 Passat, or 92 Passat, uh, 83 GTI, um, oh geez, 96 Cabrio, 2001 Passat Wagon, 2004 Passat Sedan, 95 Passat Wagon, 99 Jetta, 92 Jetta again, another 92 Jetta, a... 2010 Jetta, 2016 Jetta, 2003 Eurovan. Um, I'm probably think I'm probably missing some, but yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. And how old are you? 30. You're 30. So yeah. Volkswagen started with you when you got your license. Pretty much. Well, I mean, I was born in Germany, uh -huh. and my dad was in the military. My parents actually used to drag race Beatles in Germany. Yeah, they were in a league, and uh, so when I when I was born, we had a, we always had a Volkswagen van. My parents uh -huh. always did. And then they had a Volkswagen van and a Ford Escort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got rid of the Ford Escort quick. We got a Honda Prelude. This is uh -huh. back in the late 80s. Yeah. So they had that for a year, got rid of that. And then they had a Jetta. And I remember we were going to pick up my sister from our first year at college, and she went out to Idaho to college. Uh -huh. And we ended up having a loaner car from the local Volkswagen dealership back home mm -hmm. because my parents' car was in the shop. And the loaner car we got was a red 91 Jetta sedan. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember riding with my parents to go pick up my sister at the airport. And my sister ended up bringing me back some of those roll up parachute guys that you throw in the air and parachute down. So I remember this whole thing. And yeah. that was the moment that my dad really fell in love with the Jetta. So from that point on, a couple months later, he went out and got a, a Jetta of his own. And they owned like seven or eight Jettas in a row. And then they upgraded the socks. They got a little older. They wanted a little yeah, yeah. Bit more size. But yeah, it's just been in my blood. I grew up working on cars with my dad. Um, my dad was a little older by the time I came along, so um, we didn't go out and throw the football. We went out and worked on the car, yeah. you know, and we had a 714, and that's what I grew up working on with my dad, uh -huh. and that's how we bonded. So my dad actually is, gave it to me. He still has it in Pennsylvania, but it's mine. It's a yeah. house with a garage. So, yeah, that's because I told him when I was a kid, you know, don't ever get rid of that car because that's, that's him and me, yeah. you know. That's so. awesome, dude. That's awesome. I, I just got that on camera, too. I don't care. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's, it's just what I do. You know, it's 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 in our family. It's in our blood. I enjoy them. You know, it's. Uh, but there are other great cars out there. I'm not saying that it's for yeah. everybody, but if people give them a chance and actually get in them, drive mm -hmm. them, get a chance to live with them day to day, yeah, there might be other cars that might get a little better fuel economy. There might be other cars that per capita are stated to be more efficient, but yeah. you get a driving experience. It becomes part of the family. It's true. I, yeah. I believe it. They, they run different. Yep. Yep.